Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis again. Today we're taking a look at the Mega Constructs Call of Duty Assault Weapons Crate. This consists of 43 pieces, including one micro action figure. Uh, let's go ahead and crack it open. On the back of the package you get a little bit better idea of what's inside. We have a drop shipment uh, with the you know care package with the uh, various weapons and things. There's the micro action figure on a display stand and then he has a weapon in his hand as well. So let's go ahead and open it up and put it all together. Alright and here we have it. The Mega Constructs Call of Duty Assault Weapons Crate. As you can see we have one micro action figure and a care package with a couple of additional weapons. Let's go ahead and take a look at that care package first. What we have here is the same weapons crate that we've seen so many times before, this time with the little gold uh, cappers on the top. I don't know what you call those, but um, then down here we have two weapons. They're both in gold. There's this pistol down here and then the assault rifle. Uh, the assault rifle has a uh, pretty nice configuration with a scope and a suppressor and then the I guess a grenade launcher or whatever down there at the bottom. I'm not a big fan of this gold color scheme. I understand it because it's kind of popular in the game itself but I just think it looks kind of cheesy personally. It's alright but I'd rather have more realistic colors on the weapons but those look pretty good. The assault rifle is the typical uh, mega constructs, mega blocks style in that the stock, scope, the magazine, the foregrip and the suppressor are all removable um, so the the handle and the upper and lower are one piece and then the magazine will slide in the grenade launcher slides in the suppressor just goes on the tip there the the buttstock clips on the back and the scope clips on the top so um, you can customize these weapons you could leave the scope off or the suppressor off and make a different look for the weapon if you want to uh, as for the other weapon we have an AK variant uh, it has, it looks like a red dot up on top, there's a black buttstock and a black front stock, and it has a double drum magazine, which is kind of a cool piece. Um, and then as you can see, we also have the uh, muzzle flash going on there. If you remove that, you can just see the, the end of the weapon. Um, just to give you a little bit closer look, this is that weapon, and again, this is the same style of thing, so you can take that stock off of there, you can remove the red dot from the top. You can take off the drum magazine and you could put on a, a regular magazine instead. You can also remove the front stock. As you can see that upper lower combination doesn't really look like an AK um, but that front muzzle does. So um, you can kind of play with this and configure it however you like. Um, but that's the way it came in the package. As for the figure, he's pretty good, I think. He's got this kind of bandana around and almost looks like flight goggles or something, so he might have been a pilot that ejected or something. He has the uh, tactical vest there or backpack straps, depending on how you look at it. He's got some nice padding, clips available on his belt, on the straps, on his side here for various accessories like this flashbang. Um, just like all the Call of Duty figures, they are articulated at the elbow, and that they can bend at the shoulder, they can rotate all the way around, and the wrist as well. The legs can go up and down and bend at the knee. Um, they can splay not so far. Uh, they can turn at the waist, and they're on a ball joint for the head so they can look up and down side to side. If we take off that bandana, you can get a little bit better look at the head of this guy, so not too shabby. This is not an officially named character, so um, he's just a kind of generic soldier, I guess. Um, but they've done a pretty good job with him. Some nice detail in the sculpt, and overall he will match up well with the other Call of Duty figures. Alright, there you have it. The Call of Duty Assault Weapon Crate from Mega Constructs. The set, again, consists of 43 pieces and is recommended for ages 10 and up. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave those below. And until next time, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.